Welcome to Research Park TV, the official podcast at the Research Park at Florida Atlantic University. This podcast of Research Park TV is brought to you in part by our following supporters. FPL FiberNet, providing affordable lambda rail access to businesses inside the Research Park. And Daskal Balton, want to be part of one of the top 15 accounting firms in South Florida? Think Daskal Balton. And also, the Boca Raton Wyndham. Next time your parents come to town, send them across the street. It's so nice, they might just leave you alone. Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Research Park TV. Keep in mind that the show is to reveal the amazing opportunities occurring right here in our backyard. So if you're a student looking for employment or an employee looking for some great local talent, we hope this show will help connect you. It's also designed to showcase the exciting innovation happening right under our noses as well. So without further delay, let's get into the show. And next up is Andrew Duffel to tell us about some of the exciting things happening in the research park at FAU. Andrew, thank you once again for making this podcast possible. It's my pleasure, Amanda. This year promises to be a very exciting one for the research park. Can you tell us what you have been working on regarding that? Absolutely. Last year we did an in-depth analysis of what was missing from our business incubator. And we learned quite a bit. And from that research we began to build a plan to fill the areas that need attention. Give me an idea of what you mean by that. Sure. In all cases, we learned that we had some incredibly ta talented entrepreneurs here in the incubator. However, we saw that in each case there were areas of expertise that were missing that would tremendously benefit these companies. For instance, some companies needed help in the legal area, perhaps with their agreements or intellectual property. Others needed some accounting guidance, and others need help with marketing and product refinement. So we made it a priority to identify these issues and recruit some very gifted and generous mentors to come aboard and help us. That sounds very exciting. Tell us a little more. Sure. As part of that initiative, we intend to work with our member companies to determine what they need to become more successful faster. Once we have that inventory in order, we will devise a plan to integrate these companies to put a plan in place to help ensure their success. Keep in mind that the ultimate goal of the Technology Business Incubator is to grow companies that become larger contributors to our local economy. And you can see that happening every day. I do see that. Interviewing all these companies has given me an incredible insight of the incredible things happening in the research park. Thank you once again for being on the podcast and for making this all possible. Next up is Neil Parson, the founder of Owl Educators, a startup in the Business Technology Incubator. Neil, tell us what your company is doing in the research park. Owl Educators is working on building a system to change the education sector. Our goal is to streamline and simplify the tutoring process. We do that through a membership service by providing the tutor a membership to use our services and support in which case we can then allow the tutor and student to connect directly while still monetizing. Why is that important? The key to that is to help them educate and learn and simplify the process. People are going to tutoring because they're stressed out. They don't know what's going on in the subject. They're looking for something to make their lives easier. I also know your company was a winner in the FAU business plan competition. Tell us a little about that. The business plan competition was a life-changing experience. It gave me the opportunity to reach out to successful business people, entrepreneurs, and learn from their experience and firsthand information instead of me learning the hard way. It was extremely challenging and grueling, but there was a substantial amount of mentoring and advice, and it was definitely a learning and growing experience. And I won, so that was kind of cool too. <laughs> they gave me $15,000, which really helped. Uh, Kim Graham does a great job in fundraising. I know money is really hard to get and any seed capital for a startup is critical to getting off the ground. Are there any opportunities for students to get involved with your company? Yes, we're looking for interns. We've actually already hired five students from FAU as interns and we're looking for more. Intern responsibilities will include training tutors, interviewing them, doing research, coming up with plans and marketing strategies, and some management of the other interns in the future. So anyone with a business or education background would be ideal. 
And that's our show. But before I go, if you would like to be considered to be on the show, it's pretty simple. Just send me an email at the address on the screen. I'd love to meet you. Thanks for watching. This podcast of Research Park TV is brought to you in part by our following supporters. FPL FiberNet, providing affordable Lambda Rail access to businesses inside the Research Park. And Daskal Balton. Want to be part of one of the top 15 accounting firms in South Florida? Think Daskal Balton. And also, the Boca Raton Wyndham. Next time your parents come to town, send them across the street. It's so nice, they might just leave you alone.